Shopify appointment booking tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add a booking an appointment booking software within Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you're going to do is when you come over here onto Shopify.com, what you're going to do is just simply log in. Now, if you have an account, you can log in. If you don't have an account, you can just simply enter in your email address over here and then just simply click on start free trial. So I already have an account. So I'm just simply going to log in by clicking on the login button over here at the top bar. Then I'm just simply going to select the store that I have over here and I'll just enter in the email address and continue with email. And once you have logged in, this is how it's going to look like. This is going to be your dashboard. Now, in order to actually add a booking or an appointment booking software, just simply come over here onto apps over here on the left hand side. It's going to be the last option over here. Simply click on apps and over here, just simply search for apps, right? Let's say you want a booking application. So we'll just simply search for booking and it's going to open up another tab and it's going to take us to the app store where it will have all of the applications that have the word booking in it. So over here, as you can see, we have appointment booking, appointo, easy appointment booking, uh, sesame appointment booking, appointly. I have a bunch of different applications that we can use. You can use each and every one of these, right? So over here, as you can see, many of these have a free plan available. And what we're going to be using is we're going to be using this one right here called Sesame Appointment Booking. You can use any one of these. They all work perfectly fine, but I'm going to be using this one and I'm going to click over here and I'll just simply click on add application over here. And it's going to take me over here where we just simply add and install the application. So we just simply click on install app, wait for a couple of seconds for the applications to be installed. And once it's installed, we are good to go. Now it's going to take me over here as you can see on sesame appointments over here as you can see uh, we can pin it as well i'm going to pin it as well so that i can see it so over here as you can see we can select our plan all right you can choose any plan and get 30 day of free trial you won't be charged yet so you can choose any of these and you are good to go so sesame small sesame medium sesame pro and sesame premium so sesame small is 19 dollars per month sesame medium is going to be 49 dollars per month and the pro version is going to be 129 and the premium is 299 so if you are planning on getting a shopify you know plan as well depending upon which let's say you get the premium one let's say the high end which is like also 299 then on top of this application which let's say you're gonna get this one as well that's like 599 right there 600 dollars. so keep that in mind but over here on the left hand side, we also have our dashboard as well. So then we have our calendar services, teams and settings. So first we need to get a plan. So I'm going to be using the small version, which is 19. And I'll just simply enter in the credit card information and I'll get the 13 day free trial. And I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay. So this happened. Let me just actually try this again with a different application. I don't think that this works. So let me actually go with a different application this time yeah what happened okay something is wrong let me log in once more okay i can't log in okay let's start again with another application okay so we tried sesame it didn't work i don't know why so this time we're gonna be using another application that i have used in the past which is called tipo appointment booking i thought maybe i try to find another one which is better but i guess we can't so we're going to continue with tipo i guess so once you install the application tipo booking here we go there is a free plan available for this one as well there is no trial but you can use it for free so let's go ahead and use it all right there we go so currently we're using the free plan we're going to continue with the free plan and over here we have to set up the first service and then we have to integrate the theme then we have to check booking form so over here, we have to find the product. This is the product right here. We'll click on the product. And over here, this is it. We have to add it to the calendar. So what type of color you want over here? You can go with the red, orange, yellow, uh, cayenne or green. I don't know. Let's go with this sky blue color. I think that looks good. And over here, allow customers to book this service for free. We can allow that. Yeah. And then down over here and then over here we can add an employee for this as well 
someone who will track and receive your incoming inventory for supplies you can add and create an employee for that you can cut off of the time over here you can add like for future days how many booking can you do for future days so people can book for 90 days within 90 days for the booking i think that's good then we are good to go then we'll just simply save and continue to next step over here we do have to create an employee so let's go ahead and create an employee I'll just say John Doe for email. Of course, we're going to be using the temporary email. Copy that and we just place it over here. And for the phone number, we'll just enter in a random phone number. There we go. And then over here, set the available hours for the people. When can they schedule with employees? So we'll just say uh, Monday. All right. From 8 a.m. to 16. Yeah. Apply to monday apply to all mondays there we go then we just simply save so they can book it on monday as well you can create different employees for different times but yeah then we just save and continue to next so next one we have to integrate it with the theme this is the theme that we have so we'll just simply click on integrate and continue there we go now we have to finish installing the application so now we just check the booking try booking on the newly created service over here as you can see we can select the service right here we can select the size we can select the color we can select the ship from as well and we can just simply click on continue and over here as you can see uh, we can book it for let's say 16th and we can put the time we'll just say 14 to 15 no, actually 12 to 1 yeah that looks good and then we click on continue and then we enter in the first name last name email and the quantity and how much we want right so we'll just say max max johnson right there of course and the email and then for the quantity is going to be one yeah and then we'll just simply click on continue and there you go as you can see right here thank you for booking we will get back to you shortly so there you go it's now booked it is for 60 minutes yeah pretty simple that's how you do it and yeah then over here we just simply click on i see the booking form yes and we are good to go and over here as you can see we have the pending this one is it we have actually made one booking which is pending over here as you can see and over here we will see the calendar as well as you can see over here max johnson we have booked that date so when we click over here we can see what they've booked we can reschedule them we can put the status at pending and rejects or whatever and yeah then when the services we can add services different services that we want we have employees over here we have backouts as well and everything is very simple very nothing too complicated very easy to integrate it with and yeah so over here you will see the pending the paid and the rejected so that you can see it so pretty simple that's how you do it that's how you add a booking appointment booking software within shopify so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye